Well, good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. I hope you're having a great day and are ready for the ever approaching Christmas holiday. You know, as we draw near to Christmas, we're also drawing near to our time in the book of Proverbs for your word for the day messages. And there's been a couple of themes that hopefully you've picked up through the course of our time together in the book of Proverbs. And one of those themes is how we respond to criticism and rebuke. And it seems like in almost every chapter of Proverbs, this pops up in some way. And for good reason. Most of us don't like being rebuked and in our nature don't typically respond to it well. But here's what we find in Proverbs 27.5. It says, better is open rebuke than hidden love. Now, that's an interesting concept because none of us would probably come up with that statement ourselves. None of us actually want to say that rebuke is a good thing, unless, of course, we're rebuking someone else. But here's the truth. We all need help growing and getting better in areas of our life. And the only way that we know that is to have an opportunity to have openly shared point of corrections in our life. If we receive that well, if we receive rebuke, if we receive criticism and correction well, it can be helpful and transformative in our life and we can grow better as a result. Unfortunately, what happens is that usually someone has some point of correction or rebuke to share with us, but for whatever reason, they don't do it. And that causes strain or distance in our friendship, our relationship with them, and it never gets shared, and we never have the opportunity to correct our course. But the next verse in Proverbs tells us that even if that correction hurts, if it's coming from someone close to us, we can trust it and find benefit in it. But see, all of this comes back to us simply being open to the idea of correction and open to rebuke and open to admitting that we don't have everything figured out and that people can speak into our life. See, the good news is that we don't have to be perfect because Jesus was perfect on our behalf. So that makes it okay to not be okay and to have things that we need to work on. So today, let me encourage you to be open to the idea that you have areas to work on and you have areas where people can speak into your life, where you have areas that that maybe you are open to rebuke in. And secondly, let me encourage you to be open to rebuke with, with grace and understanding in your life. Because if you can receive it well, as we've been told all throughout the book of Proverbs, God can use it to bring about something good in your life so that maybe even you can look at the idea of rebuke and say that it's better to have open rebuke than hidden love by those around you. I hope that you have a great day, Calvary, and we'll see you next time.